let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are making the nougat bag from K Dill Handmade. This is such a cute little, like, it's a fanny pack sling, but could wear it as a crossbody too, out of TPU and jelly vinyl. So there's a front zippered pocket. And technically I use the clear jelly to line the bag. So it's translucent inside, but the outside slip pockets are clear. There's a zipper pocket and then this fun slip pocket. I do also have a cutting video for this bag if you'd like to check that out. I will link it down below. Um, but otherwise, it was such a fun, quick sew. Make sure that you have um, a walking foot machine or a Teflon foot for your machine if you decide to make this bag. Um, but yeah, let's get started. We are going to start by prepping our zippers. So I've got one cut to seven and one cut to 11. And if you're not sure if that's gonna be the right size, you can double check it to your original piece. And that is not right. So I wanna cut this down to 10. They probably said 10 and I forgot. I am using a clear zipper tape. I believe this is from Fabric Therapy. It may have been from Wizardry a little while ago. I'm gonna go ahead and add these zipper pulls. And then I'm gonna add the clear jelly zipper tabs as well. So I'm just using standard number five zipper tape um, and zipper pulls for both. Um, I'm not sure if the pattern calls for a number three, but if you have number three and you wanna use it, you could certainly do that. Just always give your zippers a little check. Make sure they they work well. So I'm gonna kind of go through all of my little pieces first. I'm gonna get my crossbody strap sewn and out of the way. Definitely check your hardware before you start sewing. And then I'm gonna add a little piece of double-sided tape to these ends. Just so they don't shift while I'm sewing. Be careful when you're working with clear vinyl if you're using double-sided tape. It, it's very likely that you'll be able to see the tape with that little bit of cloudiness. So just be mindful of that if that's not something you want to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew these into place. Turning my machine on will be helpful. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely delightful. <laughs> <clears throat> got those threads trimmed and then because I use that vinyl I honestly could even just um, rivet through that but I'll go ahead and make a little box stitch 
around this. And then we'll grab our snap hook, one of our snap hooks, loop through the top, back around, and then this end here will have the other snap hook, and you could rivet through there. You could even, I might, I might do it this way. Just so like you kind of see that from the front. I think that's fun. And then I think for this I'm gonna do a little box stitch. Wow, really just took that zipper with it, huh? And there is our strap done. These are one and a half inch wide triangle rings. We'll just fold these. And then let's see, my plan was to put them in these pieces. This is what was cut out of the front slip pocket. So I'm wondering, do I want to, yeah. All right, so I folded it in half and I want this to be right up against the folded corner. On an open seam. I'm going to back stitch and get close to that hardware. And then we'll repeat that on this other one here. So I'm folding it this way, which means I want my triangle ring in the corner right next to that and then I'm sliding this in so there's about half an inch within the seam allowance and back stitch over that webbing and then I really don't need to trim it down anything we'll just pull that Oh, that's so cute. And then I'm going to top stitch this. So we're going to pull all the way through and top stitch both finished sides of the connector. And then I'm going to cut them even and trim off all my threads. That is one thing about these clear vinyl projects is like anything where it shouldn't be, you're, you're going to see it. Oh my goodness. 
they're so cute. I don't know why I'm so in love with this so far. I don't, it's crazy. Okay, so for this zipper, one zipper end is used and then you're gonna square off your zipper. And I gotta be really careful. I can't melt this like I'm used to doing because we're using clear vinyl. So I'm just going to do a little basting stitch and hope that works. It's not bad, but it's not great. And then we're gonna repeat that on the other side. So I'm just folding this down at a little bit of an angle. I don't think taping it would work, but you could definitely try that. Okay, not bad. And then we'll go ahead and add the D-rings to all of our zipper ends that are unfinished. This is the shiny side. Normally I would add double-sided tape to my vinyl, but it really didn't stick well on the jelly. What's kind of cool about the jelly for the zipper ends is you don't see through it as well. Like it has a little bit of a translucency, but it's not very see-through. Obviously. So this is now my top zipper, so I can set that aside, and we're going to focus now on our zippered pockets and slip pockets. I'm going to set aside that lining piece for now, that jelly piece, and I'm going to top stitch here. that a little bit. Dang. Uh, I'll do a second line. For a second I was like, it's just for me, it won't matter, but it might matter. it all there but to make it look similar I'm gonna add that second stitch line and then we want to add a tag to this do I want it on this side or I'll do it on that side but we want to base this in place really quick So across the top. Sides and bottom. And 
And then again, this is clear, so we want to trim down as much of the excess threads and fabric as we can. Cute. Okay, and then these get attached on the inside here. I really love how they fit together within the pattern. So I'll go ahead and baste these down too. I probably should have done that as I was top stitching everything together, but I didn't think about it. Um, in the little video that Kathy posted on her Instagram story, um, and it's a highlight on her page, she used, I, I think she may have used just a PVC vinyl for the lining and she said it was kind of hard to turn and press those corners through. So I'm hoping using this transparent jelly, it won't be too bad. Okay, there is one side ready to go. And now we can work on the zipper pocket side. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to get a cork tag from Heartwood and Hyde. Mm. Oh, that's a winner. I was like, wait a minute, am I just legit eyeballing this? Wait, I have a, I have a marker. Tag placement marker. So I'm going to make an itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty snip in my center there. And find the center. And then the silver marking pen should show up on the TPU, if not, haha, -ha, it does, okay. All right, pardon my head. Just wanna make sure I place that really nicely into place. And then we'll go nice and slow, top stitching that on. My stitch length is at 4.5. And then I'm pulling my thread to the back now. Just so I can really get that in place. And then I can pull the thread to the back on the other side too. Brilliant. Not my best work, but this thing is so pretty you can't even tell. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering if I want this zipper to be this short. Maybe I messed up, but 
Maybe I'll recut. I feel like I want like an, oh, maybe it was nine inches and I'm just stupid. It was probably nine inches. Hmm. No, cause stuff would definitely fall out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and recut um, a nine inch zipper and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Not that it was any time away from you. Okay, got that on there. Yeah, that's gonna be much better. You always wanna take into account your seam allowances when you're adding zipper and zipper tabs, especially zipper tabs. I decided to use double-sided tape this time. And then I just cut this piece like four inches by one inch, folding it over. Trimming all the extra And then you can use double-sided tape to hold this in place if you wanted to, but I think this will all stick well enough. Definitely want to make sure when you're using the TPU, etc., that you use a decent foot on your machine that will help with either the stick of it or the glidiness of it. Like the jelly isn't sticky, but it's glidy and it'll kind of shift. Base that in place. You could also like fold it over and then sew it in place, but I like to have two rows of stitching to keep it safe from coming undone in the future. And then fold that down by about a quarter inch. And then we'll press all that into place. And you just want to make sure that it's kind of like folding on itself so that you've got two lines of stitching supporting that zipper. Okay. So you can see there, we've sewn through it twice little thread here. Goodbye. All right, and now we can add the top accent piece. And so what I meant by you can fold it um, is you could tape this piece and set that down on top and then only have one row of stitching. Or you can line this up. Oh my God, this is a lot of clear and it's like just ever so slightly disorienting. Love that for us. <laughs> um, but with what Kathy did in her Instagram story highlight um, was she added more accents of the jelly vinyl right along the zipper. Looked so cool and like made the zipper kind of stand out a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot of it. So now we're going to add the lining to this piece. So if there's any difference in height, it's okay. You're going to just trim it away. Oh, look at that. Spot on. Go us. Um, but there are no pockets in the lining, so keep that in mind. Um, since this is not the original pattern. It's the same concept, but we've lost everything in the lining. You probably could add card slots still to the 
jelly vinyl lining if you wanted to, but you would see all of your stitching. Okay. So now I've got no pieces left. And we can put our zipper on. So this is the front of the bag for me. So I want to add my zipper here. And you want to make sure you've got a good amount of seam allowance along other, each side. And I'm going to baste this into place. I literally don't know if I'm sewing it or not. Don't use clear zipper. Don't use clear zipper tape. I missed like all of it. Okay, great. Literally every single piece of it. And then we do it again. If you could see my face right now. Okay, I'm s I, I don't think I'm catching it still. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I caught most of it. So we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna fold this down by like a lot. And that's when I will catch it. Oh, look at that little bit of translucency it has. It's so pretty. Okay, so see how I'm like folding this up really high close to the zipper teeth and that's just so I can ensure that I am catching all of those layers. I'm going all the way to the end and back stitching. And then of course I'm going to tug on the zipper. Yes. I've caught I've caught it. I got it. And then we're going to do that to this side. Well, those are uneven. That's okay. But we want to make sure we don't sew through that hardware, so I'm going to shift that. This will be a little bit easier to see. That's exciting. Nope. Not by much. <laughs> okay. It's easy to see it on the jelly, and then when it goes onto the clear TPU, like, there's no way. Like, if I were a bird, I would fly straight into this. And then again, for this side, I'm going to fold it up pretty, pretty high so that I know I'm catching all those layers. And then Kathy recommended in her Instagram highlight to backstitch over the edges of the slip pocket since there's going to be a lot of stress on those. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Um, I bet you could even square the bottom a little bit if you wanted to or around your corners, but I'm gonna unzip my zippers about halfway and put right sides together.
and then clip everything together. Um, if you have pain in your hands, I would recommend keeping a blow dryer close by when you're turning this to kind of warm it up and make it even more malleable. But I'm just gonna start up here. And I'm using like a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Back stitching at those pockets and then definitely back stitching at the top. And then I don't believe that she trimmed any excess except at the bottom corner. And I will do the same. But if you wanted to square the bottom of this a little bit, you would just cut out like a little corner and box it. Got some extra down here I'll trim off too. And just a little bit at the top there. Okay. And then we'll unzip it and turn it through. So because I did not use any PVC, it's not too terrible. Be very careful when you're poking out those corners. Oh my gosh, this was so fun. I probably could have trimmed down, I still can. I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit more right there. But yeah, warming up your ironing board with your iron first and laying this down can also help. But be careful because that might cause your TPU to get a little bit cloudy. Um, and if you have any TPU that is cloudy, you can use an alcohol wipe to clean it up. didn't catch that right there but it's not much and it's not going to change the effectiveness of the bag it's super cute oh my goodness so another thing you could do to um, like extend the life of this is like bring these edges in and kind of top stitch that a little bit right there it couldn't hurt but I'm really happy with this just the way it is like it's insanely cute and like yanking on those nothing's coming out it's caught in most places it's just like one side of the connector didn't catch so this slip pocket is great for um, like your keys stuff like that and I mean it otherwise it's just super cute Thank you so much for joining me to make this Nuga clear Nuga bag from K Dill Handmade. There is a marathon of videos for this bag that you can check out. I will have everybody listed down below. I hope you try this version out. It's so cute. There is a version with woven fabric and vinyls, etc. But this is the clear. Bye.